Hello friends, welcome to Technique. This is Normal here, and in this video, we're gonna do a comparison of two mid-range smartphones: uh, the Nokia 7 Plus, price 2599, with the Oppo F7, price 2199. So, in this video, we'll compare all the aspects of these two devices and see which is uh, better in terms of the performance, uh, the design and build quality, the camera performance, and also the battery life. So, let's get started. So, first up, let's have a look at uh, the design and build quality of these two devices so looking at the design uh, you can see that both are quite good looking devices out there with a pretty neat uh, design and looks we have the flat back panel on the oppo f7 while we have a slightly curved uh, rear panel on the nokia 7 plus the edges of the device is curved now when it comes to build quality that's where the nokia 7 make nokia 7 plus makes a huge difference with the uh, aluminium 6000 series uh, chassis and uh, ceramic finish on the back panel which gives a really premium feel on the other hand the oppo f7 looks pretty good but the build quality is plastic that's kind of unacceptable for a phone in the 22,000 price segment so the durability aspect the nokia 7 plus is the clear winner and also in terms of the design you can see the nokia 7 plus is a tad longer in terms of the looks and also it's slightly heavier because of the metal construction so that's the design and build quality other than that you can see the power key on the right side on both the devices uh, the nokia 7 plus also has uh, uh, the volume keys on the right side uh, while uh, uh, the no the oppo f7 has the sim tray on the left side we have a dual sim card slot on uh, uh, the nokia 7 plus while we have the volume keys the top panel has 3.5 mm audio jack on nokia 7 plus but uh, there is no audio jack on the top panel while the bottom panel houses the uh, micro usb charging slot and uh, on the nokia 7 plus it's a usb type c port and we also have a speaker unit on both the phones uh, the oppo f7 also has this uh, 3.5 mm audio jack so that's the design and build quality so overall we would give it to the nokia 7 plus in terms of the design and build quality now next step let's talk about the display so we have a 6.23 inch full HD plus resolution display on the Oppo F7 with 19 is to 9 aspect ratio while we have a 6 inch of full HD plus resolution display with 18 is to 9 aspect ratio on the Nokia 7 plus. Although the Nokia 7 plus has a smaller display you can see the display size is smaller on the Nokia 7 plus but uh, the height of the device is uh, 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 bigger on the Nokia 7 plus it does not have a bezel-less design you can see the Nokia I mean the Oppo F7 has uh, this notch and uh, almost like bezel as a less uh, design so that makes the device a bit more compact even though it has a larger display now the display quality as such looks pretty good on both the phones both have good glass support and the touch response feels quite smooth but we personally like the display quality on the nokia 7 plus now next step let's talk about the software so we have android 8.1 oreo out of the box on both these devices while we have the stock android with the android one platform on the nokia 7 plus so nokia 7 plus since it is from android one platform we don't have any third party apps or customizations offered it's a plain stock android and it will be getting at least two rounds of major updates from google so that's the advantage of the nokia 7 plus now talking about the oppo's uh, color os 5.0 which runs on uh, android uh, 8.1 oreo so we have a lot of additional features features offered because you can see that clone apps uh, split screen mode uh, then uh, uh, theme support then additional options are also included so this is a, a ui which offers additional features uh, including dual app support so if you're a person who loves customization oppos uh, color os is a good uh, ui but then when compared to the nokia 7 plus we feel uh, the ui on the nokia 7 plus is good because it is a very smooth performance and also you will be getting a lot of android updates uh, from nokia so that's the advantage for Nokia 7 Plus. Now talking about the performance. So this is one area, it is uh, almost quite similar in terms of the performance. So we'll just uh, show you the benchmark score of uh, these two uh, devices. And uh, uh, the Nokia 7 Plus is powered by the Snapdragon 660 Octa-Core chipset while we have the Helio P60 Octa-Core chipset on the Oppo S7. So both are quite similar in terms of uh, 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 the uh, benchmark score, the Android benchmark score is quite similar and you can see that uh, almost similar performance on both these devices now talking about the real performance both these devices offered a pretty good experience uh, the helio p60 was quite a surprising performer great gaming abilities uh, good overall uh, performance and day-to-day -day performance was lag free now the same can be said about the nokia 7 plus as well uh, excellent gaming abilities good performance all around so we would say it's basically a tie in terms of the performance both are pretty good uh, gaming abilities and both have excellent performance as well now both these devices have dual sim cards 4g lt and volte support and the speaker performance we feel was slightly better on the Nokia 7 Plus. 
Now talking about the fingerprint scanner experience, so we have fingerprint scanners on the on the back panel on both these devices. So we'll just uh, test out which is faster here. So you can see here, uh, Oppo is really fast in terms of unlocking the device. So we'll just test it one more time. So you can see that Oppo is really fast here. Now next up, let's talk about the cameras. So we have done a detailed camera review of these two devices. So we have a dual camera setup on uh, the Nokia 7 Plus with uh, a 12 and 13 megapixel camera with a telephoto lens, uh, Zeiss optics, uh, dual tone, dual LED flash and a 16 megapixel selfie camera. On the other hand, the Oppo F7 comes with a 16 megapixel f 1.8 camera and we have a 25 megapixel selfie camera. Now, uh, looking at the camera samples taken with these two devices, you can uh, see that both are quite good in terms of the camera performance. Uh, we like the uh, camera aspect of uh, the Nokia 7 Plus in terms of the daylight conditions, the close-up images and also the low light experience. But when it comes to uh, the selfie experience, that's where the Oppo F7 uh, is slightly better with uh, slightly better colors and overall uh, uh, good aspect in the selfie and also in terms of the video recording the Nokia 7 plus has an edge with uh, electronic image stabilization and also 4k resolution support so that's the camera aspect of these two devices now finally talking about the battery so we have a 3800 capacity battery on the Nokia 7 plus while it's 3400 mAh battery the Nokia 7 plus with a high capacity battery and also uh, Android one platform uh, makes this device a really good and efficient battery uh, when compared to the Oppo F7. The Oppo F7 is also quite good in terms of the battery performance but we would say the Nokia 7 plus has an edge here. So now summing up which is the bet better smartphone in this price segment. So both these devices are quite good uh, the Nokia 7 plus is slightly priced higher for the premium uh, design and build it offers uh, but on the other hand the Oppo F7 is really powerful but uh, it is having a plastic build quality uh, so it is priced 22k while uh, there is a 4k difference between the Nokia 7 plus and the Oppo F7. So which is our choice? We would still go with the Nokia 7 Plus because uh, of the really great build quality, good display, two rounds of major upgrades promised and uh, then also better camera performance and also battery life. So it's definitely worth the 4K you additionally pay on the Nokia 7 Plus. But having said that, the Oppo F7 is definitely a good uh, smartphone in this price segment. Only major issue we had was uh, the build quality could have been tad better and the software updates are a big issue with the Oppo F7. So our choice in this comparison would be the Nokia 7 Plus. So if you plan to buy these devices, we'll share the link in the description of this video. You can use our link and buy these devices. So this is Nirma signing off. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in our next video. Have a great day.